Hey what's up everyone welcome to FX Maniac again this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and I hope you guys are all well and safe and staying at home in these uh, quarantine times in these difficult times um, so uh, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create this uh, cool portal effect uh, in 3ds Max using Typeflow which if I show you the rendered version which is basically this I've actually rendered a couple of frames and added some color correction and blow and motion blur in After Effects so uh, actually the idea behind this tutorial is of course the main idea is the Doctor Strange portal effect right but for this tutorial I just thought about like I've done a tutorial in Maya using end particles like a year ago which was this so I was like the the workflow and the things are kind of the same so I'm, I was just thinking of like let's do it in Typeflow and uh, let's see how it goes and I know that Alan McKay has already done a tutorial a very full-fledged um, very high-end and detailed tutorial but I just wanted to show you my way of doing it a very simplified and very easy way of doing it so we'll uh, we'll do it we'll be doing this effect today and uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, FX Maniac, make sure to subscribe and turn on this bell icon. Uh, I'm making tutorials on Typeflow, on Maya, After Effects, and a lot of stuff. So uh, make sure to subscribe and share and like the videos. So uh, let's get started. So this is our 3D scene here, the 3ds Max Typeflow scene. It's very simple, very. Um, simple and easy to follow so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into a new scene and uh, um, I'm going to create a torus so I'll be creating a torus and give it very less of a thickness and hit F4 and I'm going to go into the sides or the segments so I'm gonna make it like a hundred segments and maybe 20 sides so that we have enough detail to sort of emit particles from and then I'm gonna hit E and hit A to turn on angle snap and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees move it up scale it down that's it so this is our source that we're gonna be emitting particles from and uh, we need to create a ground object too, like a box so control right click box for the particles to basically you know collide with and I'm gonna hit M and create a dark very dark material because of the lighting we're going to be doing the lighting too so just yeah so now the tie flow part so I'm going to standard primitives tie flow just drag one out here and then I'm going to the UI and it's a very simple setup uh, so what I'm going to do is drag on a birth and then position object so the birth is basically going to generate some particles but the position object is going to position the particles onto an object which I'm going to pick the torus and then I'm going to right click and hide selection so now you can see that we're generating particles on this on the faces of that object which I can go to location I'm going to set it to volume I've tested a couple of them vertex and faces but the best one is volume so you can see that's generating on the volume of the object but you have very less particles so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to maybe 20,000 for now we're gonna crank it up way up in the end so now they are generating but they're not moving so what I'm gonna do is add a force hit tab force and uh, let me turn this audio off so that, yeah so once we've added our force operator what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some um, there's no nothing now so I'm gonna add some turbulence so maybe like 0.6 and 0.25 for the frequency and 0.12 for the scale and see how it goes so um, if I play and make sure when you when you're doing time flow you go to your time configuration and turn off real time because it needs to calculate every frame properly okay so then if I play this you can see that it's going pretty wild and crazy you know uh, there are two things the movement is fine um, but first off the particles we don't want them to go forever we want to delete them second thing is we want them to go down and go like backwards towards uh, the back so it's like a portal you know the particles are going back so what I'm gonna do is add some gravity so maybe like negative 0.1 so the particles are coming down but then they're going through the floor as you can see so we want we want the particles to collide with the floor 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a collision and I'm going to pick the ground so now you can see that the particles are colliding with the ground actually and it's getting very similar to that Maya portal effect so what you can do is um, you can leave it like this it'll be fine I think and now uh, in this example in the original I've actually used some wind to kind of like push them back so what 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 I did was I went into the force and I went into the wind and changed the direction to uh, y1 and then I'm going to change it to like point 2 so now you can see that they're moving back also if you want to it's okay but in this in this example I think I'm just going to zero it out so I want the particles to kind of float around it's looking better and then the next thing that I want to do is that I want to delete these particles because I don't want them to last forever okay especially when uh, when we crank up the number of particles it's going to take like forever so what I'm going to do is hit tab and add a um, time test uh, we'll put it down and we want them to die after 20 frames with 15 frames variation and then I'm going to hit tab away from the event and find delete and then I'm going to delete these particles so you can see that now after 20 frames these particles randomly get deleted so now you can see that they're just moving like that and um, yeah so they're there and now it's time to increase the number of particles I'm going to change them to in the original example I've used 500,000 particles so crank it up yeah now you can see we have a lot of particles they're just sh shooting all around but if we want to render them we can't render them right now because we need a shape so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a shape node and make it a 3d low res sphere and make the size very small to like 15 and the variation to 20 so now you can see that we got this if I go to display and change it to geometry and you see we got these particles but they're not too crazy because they're not that big right so now you can see that these and this portal is actually looking more better than the other one it's like energy sort of fluid energy is shooting out into every direction because of that noise um, that's and turbulence you can even add a second layer of turbulence should make it like even better 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.025 so it'll just break it apart even more I don't know you can you can play around and get some results that you like mm, yeah so let's see here um, maybe I don't want the second one so I'll just like turn it off to 0 0 and 0 and maybe I'll turn up the scale on this 0.2 so that we, we get a bit of a better motion you can, you can play around with it right so now I'm gonna come to the lighting and rendering part so I'm gonna add a mesh node here uh, sorry not node operator and shift drag it here so that when we want to render this uh, we're able to render it so I'm gonna be uh, I'm using V-Ray of course so going to V-Ray next and uh, for the lighting uh, you want to make sure that your floor is very dark because I don't want to see it that much and I'm going to add a V-Ray light and I'm going to make sure it is a sphere so I'm going to drag one out here and going to V-Ray IPR so that we can see these particles it's there first off it doesn't need to be visible so what I'm going to do is going to the options and turn off visibility and I'll make it small very small very and I am going to increase the multiplier so it's very intense and I'm gonna change the color to sort of an orangish not so dark but somewhat of a color and you can see that now we got our effect you know so you can add you can add some more lights or maybe if the particles are a little bit um, you know you can you can even increase the number of particles or 
in this case because because we have so many particles we need to stop this IPR uh, we can increase the size a little bit maybe make it uh, not 15 but 20 and uh, now I think and for the rendering part I'm just going to go to very quick settings and I'm going to interior turn on GI but make it very low for just for just the, the test render and I'm going to render out a 720p frame so we'll go into HDTV 1280 by 720 let's see here how it looks it actually looks very good you can add some other lights uh, here and uh, you know light it up and change the color of the particles and stuff you can even do some basic color correction inside here so if I go into exposure and light it up Chain the contrast maybe not so much and uh, you know just just you can play around to get a feeling of what it's looking uh, you know in the output and then you can render out a sequence uh, like 0 to 100 and then go into After Effects or your favorite compositing software and bring it out here so this is my effect which actually I can start from here because some of the frames I turned off the color correction in the V-Ray so it's kind of like messed up so I'm gonna start from here and yeah you can see that you, you, you don't need to render with motion blur if as long as you have this plugin with uh, revision effects real smart motion blur which is very useful I've used I use it quite a lot in my projects I don't usually render with motion blur from 3d so this is very useful and then you can do some color correction add some glow and yeah that's that's basically it so this was a very quick and very easy tutorial uh, to follow uh, creating a simple portal effect using uh, tie flow very simple setup I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always uh, make sure to follow me uh, on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting a lot more. And you can check out my Instagram if you basically click here, effects with Sayed. Uh, some of my works, you can like them and you know, just whatever, you know. Uh, make sure to follow me there. And uh, yeah, as I always say, till the next tutorial, enjoy working.